I found something quite exciting. And I'm gonna show you guys. You shouldn't run off like that, you might get lost. Fight the power. Hello everyone, welcome back to another week. Okay, so Simon and I took the week off last week. Took the week off, I mean, we weren't vlogging. We, we were still working, but we had more chill time than usual. So we did a huge house clean. We just watched a bit of telly, caught up on some of our shows from when we were away in Kos. Um, I created loads of blog posts, did loads of photo editing. We just weren't working so much that we were completely flat out like we normally are. So it was really good. But obviously you guys didn't have any videos for a week, so hopefully you've started catching up on those now. I think by the time you're watching this you should have had three from Kos to watch. And now I am back to vlogging. So what's happening? Well, it's not much new to be honest. But right now we have decided this dining table situation we never use. So we've decided to get rid of it. So Simon is pulling the car around the back so that we can pop this in the car and that's going to go off to charity. And then we're thinking this little area, um, because we're not even remotely close to having the kitchen done, this little area we're going to kind of turn into like a little indoor greenery scenario. So, you know what that means. There needs to be another trip to Ikea! Woohoo! Right, I am dressed and we have decided we're going to head to Ikea now. So, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing because I feel like it's been ages since I've shown you what I'm actually wearing. Uh, so I've got a blazer on, this is actually navy, like a pinstripe. And this is from Next. T-shirt is my usual one that I always wear from Topshop. The necklace is the large horn by Maria Pascal. Or Pas oh, apparently you have to pronounce the U in Pascal. So I think Pascual, Pascual, I don't know. Uh, whatever it is with a U. Cartier watch, these jeans are my latest denim love they have like a big turn up at the bottom and they are from asos i will link those below along with everything else judith judith is coming out to ikea and then shoe wise these are like little raffia loafers and these are from next very cash aren't they very sort of i own a yacht or something so yeah that is today's ikea outfit hey everyone welcome back you're joining us as we've just entered the twilight zone <laughs> otherwise known as walking around ikea like zombies we know exactly what we want but we've got to walk all the way around just to make sure there's nothing get this little princess thing that for the bed don't you say you want one of those every time we go we like a little princess thing for the bed we do Didn't we have one of them somewhere yeah paris Parry for your birthday. I'm glad you remembered. It must have been a magical time. <laughs> oh, we've just sped up. We found something we like. It has a little quick dart over to this little wooden thing with some fake plants on it. Oh, can't reach it. Can't quite reach. Come on. Oh, my back. Hurt your back, didn't you? How'd you do that? Don't know. I'd tell you how you done it by not reclining on the non recliner sofa that we've got. If we had a recliner, you wouldn't have hurt it's your too back. Late now. But That's no. That's actually supposed to be on the floor. Put it back down then. I mean, I know it's a lot quieter today, but I swear we've seen the same people that we saw here last time. It must be people that live in IKEA, I reckon. Always here, same people. Emma's one of them. You shouldn't run off like that, you might get lost. Huh? Shouldn't run off like that, you might get lost. Right. Are these the special mats you want? These are the mats that, well, I think these are what everyone meant, so I put on social media that I like them mats at Casa Cook. Yeah. And everyone said, you can get them in Ikea. Well, I think this is what they meant. Yeah. But I think these would go better with the dining table because there's a bit of dark in there. Yeah. So I'm going to have them. Okay. It would actually be a lot easier if we just got two of these, since we only had dinner in front of the TV anyway. Not, we rarely eat it on the settee anymore. Watching EastEnders? No, we 
Standard. All right, Coronation Street. <gasps> Lies. <laughs> right, this has not been the IKEA trip I hoped for. Look. That is pitiful. Didn't even get one thing you wanted. Absolutely pitiful. We're going to have to go B and Q now for more plants. They had nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm outraged. Right, we are home, and this is my very pitiful home haul. I kind of expected to have at least 10 times as much plants and pots as this, but never mind. There was just a very poor selection today, which was not my fault. So, from Ikea, I got, did I? Yes. The big kind of basket -y pot, a hanging one there, no hanging plants though, as you can see. Uh, and a smaller one and then this little plant inside not sure what that is I don't think it's a rubber plant but I might be wrong I'm gonna have to investigate then an aloe vera in there love these they're kind of like a cactus succulent um, another snake plant we've got one of those in the bathroom and I love it they really like the shade so that will actually be perfect for down here because it could be one of the ones that's tucked away uh, what else from Ikea? Oh, this big plant pot, which I think I might put our already existing yucca in, because that's getting really, really big. And then I think that's it for Ikea. Oh no, hang on. I did get some other homey things. So I got the placemats. I got the gold cutlery set that I was tweeting about. And then I got a grey set of plates and things and then this vase which is kind of like a dark grey hold it up and see if you can see the colour um, and I'd like to put that on the dining table maybe with some eucalyptus leaves but the florists that we've got around here are absolutely terrible so I'm going to have to see if I can find a florist who has eucalyptus leaves because I do not want any fake plants or flowers in the house uh, so what else did we get then? Right, so we've done that, that, that. Right, from Home Sense, I got another little hanging, oh, hanging pot. Doesn't look very long, that one, but we're obviously going to need some hanging plants to go in there. I got this table also from Home Sense. How cool is that? It's like wood. It's like a slice of a tree on top and then these black things. I actually might put that in the lounge. And then from TK Maxx, I got this, like, I don't know, knitted almost? It's kind of like a tapestry kind of basket effect thing. Also for plants. So if you stay tuned, you can see how this grows over the coming weeks. I'm sure we will add more to the collection as and when I can go and find some more plant shops to raid. Hello everyone, it's now Tuesday, it's quarter to one. Um, so yesterday I had a little switcheroo, I had like some interior, I don't know, an interior moment, if you will. So I'm just going to spin you around quickly. Basically just a little bit of reorganising. I'm not going to show you too much. Ignore the fact that Bernard is literally just sat there looking so random because I'm just going to move him. But basically did a little bit of moving around because he bought this new table, thought it looked nice. Not going to go into everything too much because I'm doing an updated home tour uh, in June. So... Stay tuned, <laughs> stay tuned, sorry that was me trying to push up my sleeve for that one. Uh, now I have been filming a video this morning and now we're going to head out, get some lunch and also go in search of more plants because yesterday was quite disappointing on the plant front. We didn't find that many, there wasn't a great deal of choice so we are going further afield in search of more greenery. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing, although actually this is not a new outfit. I believe I wore this in my last first of the month haul. Um, so I've got on a H&M shirt, super, super oversized, and I've tucked it into a pair of like off-white cream. Hey, what are you sniffing? Are you sniffing the new umbrella for the garden? Are you sniffing it? Yes, you. I see you. 
Um, yes, uh, these jeans are from Weekday. They're like an off-white cream with like a raw hem. And then Hermes tan Oran slides. Cartier watch, foldable Ray-Bans. Up here we've got this disc necklace from Cinco, this mini horn necklace from Maria Pascual. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and then who have I got here? Judith. Judith, Judith, Judith. We've come to B and Q, haven't we, in search of plants? Also, you've got your new shorts on that I bought you. Yeah, new boring shorts. Oh. But nice, they're nice, just plain. Just plain, yeah. Very Emma. Plain how things should be. Boring. Let's find the plants. Oh, you should know where they are because they're the other Yeah, ones. they're right. 100% they've got the ones you want. They do, they're over there. Look, I can see them over yonder. Well, look at that. How do you feel about all this? This inside is a lot, out garden. lot of greenery here. Inside out garden. Outside in. Yeah, that's very good. Are you pleased with yourself, all your purchases? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, look at all these. Literally like a jungle in here. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Jungle is massive. <laughs> it's gonna be massive. You're gonna start our own little garden centre, look. Yeah. Very nice. I still want a banana plant and a bird of paradise. Yeah, there. so if anyone sees one at IKEA, tell us. Yeah, because so. I'm outraged that they've got no banana plants. Good morning, guys. It's now Wednesday and I have just got dressed. It is quarter past 12. Um, I've been hanging around in my dressing gown all morning, how gross is that? But I've had a shower, got dressed, done my makeup, just basically got ready because I have a lunch at half one at the Ned, which isn't too far away for me, so that's good. And then I have a store appointment in Urban Outfitters at four, so there might be a little bit of spare time in between them where I can go looking for some other plant pots as well. Obviously they can't really be ceramic because I'm not gonna be able to carry them. Um, but yes, that is the plan of action for today. The restaurant I'm going to in the Ned, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the New York Deli style one, which I haven't yet tried. So I checked out the menu this morning. They've got a club sandwich next to a fried chicken burger. A club sandwich is one of my all time favorite meals. So I'm very excited to be quite honest with you. Right, so this is my, uh, this is just my starter guys. This is, uh, what do I have? The pastrami cheese fries. Look at that, how good. Look at the size, how insane. I'm also gonna have a turkey club sandwich. And I've moved on to Maine. This is my turkey club. Can we just admire how large that is? I'd say it's at least four inches tall. Look at the size of it. It's like a beast. Right, I am back home and I have just emptied out all of the swag from today's meeting. So I actually bought a pair of shoes from Mango. So they're flat, uh, sort of mustardy coloured suede. Very similar to the little sort of uh, tiny heels from the row. So I picked those up, bought those. And then I've got some pieces here from my meeting with the PR, my lunch. Um, so I've got a couple of new page jeans there and some linen from American Vintage, a silk cami from American Vintage, that's really cute, and a little like baby pink muscle vest kind of thing from American Vintage as well. Uh, and then these espadrilles, which are from a brand that I cannot pronounce, so there's nothing new there, Maniby? Maybe, I'm not sure. I will have to Google that and see how you, know, how you pronounce it. But these are suede and I've heard amazing things about this brand. So can't wait to try those out. These are the bits which I picked up in Urban Outfitters, which they kindly gifted me. So I've got this little dress, which is super cute. And um, it's got like buttons down the front and it's got a stripe. This shirt, which I already have in the cream color, but I decided that I needed it in this color. And then I've got two more items, which they didn't actually have in stock. So they're gonna send me those. So I will show you those when they arrive at some point. And Simon even got gifted two American vintage t-shirts, which is so lovely. And he's gonna be so excited. He doesn't actually know he's got those yet. Um, now I was gonna try all this stuff on, 
but I am still major full from all of that lunch that I ate. I had fries as a starter and I did not expect them to look like that. And then I ordered that massive club sandwich, which I actually could only eat one half of because it was, I swear, this thick. So I brought it home in a doggy bag. Um, and yeah, now I've got my stretchy uh, jogging bottoms on, my sweatshirt, and I think I'm just gonna try and write a blog post whilst I'm watching the telly. Um, but when me and Simon were flicking through Netflix the other night, I found something. I found something quite exciting. And I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, not this. Let me turn the sound down as well, because that's super loud. Oh, but is anyone else super excited to watch this? We watched the first season of 13 Reasons Why, and now, oh my God, there it is. Look, okay, hang on, wait. Sorry, Bumble, you're gonna have to get off my knee. So we were looking through Netflix, and look what we found. Love Island season one. I know what I'm gonna be doing for the evening while Simon's out. Oh yeah. Hello everyone and good morning or afternoon. Morning, it's 10 to 12. Uh, it's now Thursday. I am heading off to lunch with Debs. You've met Debs before, she's my friend. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to Pizza Express on what street greek street so yes that's plan of action for today um and then after that i need to do a little bit of shopping for some videos that we've got coming up um so i'm just going to show you guys what i'm wearing which sorry yesterday totally forgot to actually run you through the outfit that i had on but as usual everything will be linked down below in the description box so today's outfit i have a very old in fact it could be classed as ancient blazer it's probably about four years old um from zara it's kind of like a gray mull but it's got a wool fabric and it's a bit chilly today so that's why i have that on I have my new anina bing t-shirt on this is the one i picked up in harvey nichols if you guys were watching my insta stories from last weekend maybe i can't remember uh, Cinco necklace, same one as I had on yesterday. This is one of the new styles. I can't remember the name of it though. Uh, I have a Jacqueline, my vintage Chanel, and the jeans with the turnips on. Again, these ones are from ASOS. It's got a really nice wash actually. It's kind of like a dirty wash. And then on the feet, I have some Gucci. Hello. We're having our guttering done, so I think the guttering guy is screaming for me. Um, and Gucci loafers. I'm gonna go see what he needs. What size are mine compared to yours? Have you got pizza FOMO? But mine's the same price as yours. And Debs, you're, you're very polka dotty. Do you like it? Look at you, dot on dot. I thought it was quite cool. I like it. it being trendy. You are, you're being well trendy. What's this? Look at this boring, gluten-free, fun-free pizza. Well, I'm just not bothered by the size difference. Uh, look, look at that. <laughs> Little and large. <laughs> FOMO face, FOMO face. <laughs> right, I am back from lunch with Debs. I am stuffed. What you guys didn't see along with my giant pizza was that I actually had chocolate fudge cake for dessert. I may have overfaced myself, so what else is new? Um, now what I would like to say is that before I left today, I tried some new makeup products and I would just like to comment on a few things. So the first thing I'm sure you can see, can we see that? I did an eyeliner flick and look what's happened. Sorry, you can also see up my nose. This is actually not as bad as it was earlier, but when me and Debs finished lunch, she was like, dude, <laughs> you've got um, eyeliner flick all over the top of your eyelid. So I actually had to smudge it off. So this is something new, which I tried this morning. That is not it. <laughs> it's very similar packaging to that though. Right, it's this, it's by It Cosmetics and it is It Superhero, <coughs> It Superhero Liner in a very sleek packaging um, and this is essentially like a felt tip that you draw on and do the eyeliner flicks with. It didn't draw on very well if I'm being honest, it took me ages to apply, it wasn't very dark, very dark black and then throughout the day it has transferred onto my eyelids so that one gets a no. I'm talking to the people. 
The people, eh? The people. <laughs> the the people. Huh? Fight the power. Fight the power? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, one other product I tried. Where is it? I got sent loads of these a few weeks ago. Completely forgot I had them. And then this morning I thought, oh, I'll try that. It's by Vici. And it is a Derma Blend colour corrector and this one is in apricot and this one it said on the box which I have now thrown away is good for age spots or dark spots and I have yeah one really big one which you might see now over here but when I covered it up this morning before I went out I touched my face a lot throughout the day so a lot of my makeup comes off but this morning when I left it was completely covered so that gets a thumbs up Hello everyone, it is Friday now and it's actually almost 7 o'clock in the evening. So this morning Simon and I went out and shot a couple of um, outfits for a lookbook that we were filming. So we filmed it um, and then we came home because I was using home as a base to get changed and then my dad randomly turned up. So we've been in the garden for the rest of the day having a little sneaky barbecue so it's been very nice the weather has been glorious and yeah it's been very nice i am stuffed absolutely stuffed although having said that my dessert tummy is still very much empty so hopefully we have something in the fridge for dessert hello <laughs> is that supposed to be some sort of full monty soundtrack that's the Diet Coke one, the sexy one. Sexy man comes in. Da, 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 na, na, na. Doo, 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 doo. So no. where where is he? <laughs> He's a bit delayed. Yeah, obviously. That's a nice t-shirt. Is that your nice free one. press gift? Freebie, yeah. Your free press swag. Taking over the blogosphere, aren't I? Do you feel like EJ style now? Because you're getting freebies. <laughs> Can I? No, no one sure. wants to see that. I think we all saw enough of your package on the hammock. Can I have a feel of it? Ooh, of what? Of the t-shirt. Oh, t-shirt. Do you know who it's by? American Vintage? Yeah, American Vintage. From 1970, this t-shirt is. No, it's not. But yeah. it feels nice. Do you yeah, like it? Nice, yeah. It's a slightly baggier fit than you normally go for, but yeah, do you like it? I don't show off my figure, does it? <laughs> I think that's something we can all be thankful for. <laughs> we can have some moose. Some moose? Moose. What moose? Homemade moose. Moose homemade. I don't know about this moose. Come on, let's go get it. Mm, this is interesting. A, what the hell is that? Done a come dine with me, made it fancy by putting it in a wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's posh because it's in a wine glass. What is that? Oh, Ooh. oh no, dear, that, that is definitely a come dime with me. That doesn't yeah. look like it's set. Come on in, have a, have a little taste. A little bit runny, but I reckon it still tastes good. Did you click my magnum? No, I'm sorry. Don't like it. That tastes like leaves. Leaves? You can have that back. <laughs> I'm gonna have it then. You always had that whole magnum in one. Uh, just to get the taste away of that <laughs> shite. <laughs> Oh. Well, as per usual, time has got away with me. I'm going to sign off here, carry on doing my evening skincare. Now, this week, okay, so today when you're watching this should be a Tuesday. So this Thursday, I have a video coming up where for those of you who are interested in eyebrow microblading I am having those topped up obviously I've not had them done yet but by the time Thursday rolls around I will have had them done and I'm doing a video just on the whole experience so from start to finish and um, there's going to be lots of FAQs in there as well so make sure you tune in on Thursday for that one and yeah, well, I will see you on Thursday with my new brows. So, bye! Get my eyebrows microblading.